councils on either side is always a healthy one. Defense attorney Albert and Richard Lewis fighting the extradition of Ron Williams, wanted by the Royal Canadian Mounted Police for murder. Speaking to HTS News on Wednesday, Richard Lewis says the extradition proceedings are in the preliminary phase. He explains he is not concerned with the murder case in Canada, but the interpretation and application of the Backing of Warrants Act here to facilitate the transportation of fugitives. They have been looking into it, not for any other reason to say, well, you know, People are under the impression that this person might have committed an offence overseas and why, the, why is he not sent over to face his penalty. That is not the point. At which I am looking at a serious preview or review of our jurisprudential status as far as that kind of legislation is concerned. Richelieu says the Backing of Warrants Act adopted from the Irish-British model is outdated, although he admits making a convincing argument to the court will be an uphill battle. Richelieu firmly believes the Backing of Warrants Act is flawed. We are not saying that we are going to succeed with that submission, but we feel convinced that we, are, that we will be able to convince a court that there appears to be a few deficiencies in the act which England cured and which we have not even gotten to that stage yet. The trial lawyer says the court tends to give more latitude in the interpretation of the law to secure the handover of fugitives across jurisdictions. He says constructing a compelling argument will require thorough research, due diligence and industry. At the same time, in that generous and kind of relaxed interpretation, one also has to consider the right of the to the liberty of the subject, which is an enshrined right under the Constitution. So at the end of the day, the battle between councils on either side is always a healthy one. Richelieu says laws cannot be passed and promulgated without challenge to set a better precedent of jurisprudence for future generations. The lawyer has some experience in the field. In 2009, he challenged the extradition of Fabian Simon Sherbin, accused of rape and murder, to Martinique based on the backing of Warren's Act. The case is before the courts and a habeas corpus hearing is scheduled for April. Winston Springer Jr., HGS News, Channel 4.